Frosty here from Golden Thread Tarot. How are you doing today? I hope this message is finding you blessed and abundant. I'm here to bring you another channeled message. Coming from the outside again, we're going to see how it goes. You guys, I am already feeling the messages, okay, all around me. Right as soon as I came outside and I was setting up all my stuff, this huge murder of crows, so like a flock of crows is what you call a murder of crows, right? Just huge, probably like 30 of them, came and just landed in the trees all around my house. And I was like... <laughs> Okay, ancestors all around protecting and guiding. You guys can probably hear them in the background. Also, okay, my cats have already gotten into a fight. Okay, so somebody is trying to start a cat fight with you is what I'm hearing. There's female energies that are competing against each other here. Now, I really am not getting a big competitive vibe from you, but somebody is trying to put themselves and compare themselves up to you and have like this big competitive vibe with you. And you guys already know how it was last time when I was out here. You know, my neighbors, I live out in the country. My neighbors were like, rah, 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 rah. and right before I hit play, okay, uh, right before I hit record, sorry, um, I had, it wasn't the same neighbors, but it was neighbors like somewhere down here were already shooting off. I was like, and it happened at the same time, like the crows were calling and my cats were in there trying to fight each other. I had to stop and like go and like stop that. And then I came back out here and there were like gunshots in the background. Ah, ah. <laughs> Absolutely. Like they're just like. Hey, are you paying attention? Are you paying attention? They're everywhere. They're like flying above me right now. Like, are, they're like, are you paying attention? Pay attention. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So while I was shuffling, okay, I had a card stick. Uh, like I had finished shuffling one deck. I know. I'm telling them. And... <laughs> And a card from that deck stuck to my fingers. I didn't even notice it. And I was shuffling the other deck. And it almost shuffled itself into the other deck. And I was like, what are you? Who are you? And when I lifted my hand to try to grab it, it like flipped out of my hand and flipped face up down here, like right in front of me. And it was the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You guys know this Queen of Pentacles in reverse kind of energy has also been around kind of like sneaking spying kind of checking out paying attention okay for some of you you might have been feeling like you were kind of in a, like a little down uh, spot right now maybe you felt like you were um maybe you were kind of trying to, to disconnect yourself from a little bit of materialistic energy or anything like that maybe you were focusing a little bit too much i'm hearing focusing too much on numbers or focusing too much on like perhaps maybe um followers or perhaps maybe focusing too much on like maybe having a lot of worries about your financial situation okay spirit is saying disconnect yourself from your worries give your worries over to your spiritual guides to your spiritual team okay for transmutation so that they can help you transfer that energy over into positive love and light energy okay so you guys don't get too down with this energy okay but i was getting that cat fight energy already okay absolutely what did it say hello sky father trust in the unknown so un understand that you might not be you might not know exactly what's happening right now but spirit is here guiding you okay absolutely so for a lot of you, I really feel like a lot of you have been discovering um, recent like spiritual gifts and talents or just things that you're learning to ways that you're learning to kind of fold in or like shuffle in your spirituality to your everyday life. OK, that's good. That's great. Keep keep going. You're doing it. OK, uh, Magic Guardian, unlock the magic within is coming out as well as Spirit Box. OK, trust your your talents in changing times with me stuttering on that talents i'm really feeling like a lot of you might have a big issue in that that those like group of crows like 10 or 15 of that huge flock of crows just like like left as soon as i said that so a lot of you might be really and i hear a plane going overhead one two three four five five crows just left so a lot of change is happening especially with that plane i don't know if you guys can hear it it's really loud to me um and so there's this big i'm feeling like the world card there's this big energy sorry i'm getting so many downloads i can barely finish a sentence i'm getting a lot a lot of like the tower card world card huge changes that are happening that are causing a lot of movement six of swords energy in your life okay or in somebody else's life that you could be connecting to i'm hearing both so i'm feeling like some marrying energy there's definitely a lot of marrying energy happening one two three four five six. okay now there's a bunch of them those crows are just like flying they're just like everywhere around the trees around my house right now 
Also, something beautiful. You guys know I was talking a while about a while back, uh, like some months ago, um, that I talked about that I received a gift from my spirit guides, which was like this huge feather that I got. Today, I was walking around my house cleaning, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I was like, go outside. You need to go outside and sit right now. And I was like, okay, maybe I just need some grounding energy. So I went outside and sit, and as soon as I sat down, I saw a shadow pass by me like a bird pass by me on the ground. And I was like, huh. And I looked up, and it was the bird, it was the, the eagle that I got that feather from, because I could see in their wings where they had like like a, a place missing where they were missing that feather and I was just like oh wow I was like that's so beautiful I don't know why I felt guided to like tell you guys that story but just like you might be seeing things like that where you're like you've experienced signs and things like that that you know in your head you're like okay that's a sign for me and you're gonna get you're gonna be getting signs like that where they're reminding you, right? Reminding you of understanding that spirit guides are giving you gifts. Your spirit guides are giving you things to help push you along to the right place, you know, to reaffirm that that some things are not for you and to reaffirm that some things that you're thinking about or that you wanna go into are for you. So be looking out for those for those messages, okay? Okay. What's the overall theme that you want to talk about today now that I have those kind of like opening messages out of the way, Spirit? <laughs> okay, absolutely. Look at that. Animal guardian, trust your instincts. Look at this. Look at the crow and look and the, the, the bird flying up above, right? Oh, the eagle. Yes, the eagle came out, right? The eagle was in that sky father, right? So that maybe that's probably why I subconsciously was like, oh, this eagle, the eagle thing. Oh, no. Is it about to rain? I felt a single drop. Hopefully not. I might have to stop this and we might have to finish filming inside, but we'll see. Okay. We'll try to make it through. All right. Um, but remember how I was saying, oh, there's like, there's guides and stuff in the trees and everything all around me right now. Right. Look at that. Right. Surrounded by these animal guardians. So know that, right. You are surrounded. You are being protected, right. You are being guided. Look around you. Look for the signs. Absolutely. Right. Right. Love and let yourself be loved. Hello, love. Exchange this really prominent, powerful spirit guide energy that is around you, that is surrounding you right now. They are here for you. They are here prompting you to, oh, yes, thank you, the message. I totally forgot. I was getting a message, too, about this message, which was learn the importance of prioritizing yourself. Learn the art of prioritizing yourself, right? Love and understand that when you give and show love to yourself, that's the energy that you put out into the into the universe that you expect. So when you start showing a lot of that love, pouring that love energy of taking care of yourself, of being there for yourself, of guiding yourself forward, that's even more energy that your spirit guides can pour into you and that other people will get, will just energetically get the hint, oh, this person takes care of themselves. And so they're the type of person that I need to respect and take care of as well, right? Thank you, spirit. <clears throat> Feeling a bit scatterbrained today. Okay, thank you. Understand that, right? You are not alone. You are being guided. You are being protected, right? Hello, thank you, spirit. I also just saw the traveler card, okay? Yeah. Embrace this energy of peace. Look at this. Winter, take care of your needs, okay? And Oracle, wait for important information. Like I said, you are being given really important information right now. Choose your direction, Guardian. Choose your path forward, right? Yes. Shaman, trust in higher forces. Understand that they are here, right? They're here working with you. Look. And then he's got the feathers. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Spirit. You're so fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, and understand that these gifts, these talents, the things that you are doing, they're being given to you. They're being shown to you. You being shown the way forward, right? You are being shown the path forward. But it is up to you, free will, right? It is up to you to take it. Absolutely. Stargazer, set your sights higher, okay? I'm really getting a lot of, like, looking into astrology, okay? Um, the astrology of the day today, I was looking that up last night, um, was really a lot. I'm really being drawn to the fact that today Venus is in Scorpio. So if you guys have a Venus in Scorpio, check that out, okay? Um, the Venus in Scorpio was about... A transit there's a the the transit with a venus and scorpio it was like tapping into your subconscious wants and desires really tapping in and filling your subconsciousness the things that you keep buried under the surface right and those could be the things right those could be the things that you're whoops. 
well, one, yeah, that is here. You know, the worries, the fears, and all of that is really affecting you, understanding your spirit guides are here. They're all around you. They're supporting you. They're showing you the way forward. Maybe perhaps your fear, your worries have kind of been clouding your judgment or clouding your ability to really see the fact that you are being guided, that you are being protected. Maybe some bad things or some things where you're just like, oh, like technical difficulties or other things have been happening in your life. And you're like, why? Like, oh, like, oh, why right now? Like, and spirit is telling you, like, pay attention to these signs, right? We, we say that all the time and I understand it can be hard to put those things in practice because when we're just saying them, it's like, oh yeah, if things aren't just working out, it's just not meant to be. Well, that's really hard when you've been working really hard on something or you've been saving up your money and you finally buy that thing or you do this and then that thing breaks down or you're having trouble and you're just like, why I've been trying so hard to make this work in spirit. It's really hard in that moment to, to center yourself and remind yourself, hey, Remember what spirit's always telling you, you know, if this isn't meant to happen right now, then it won't. I'm hearing, right? Your spirit guides are telling you, is that a plane or a helicopter? It's really low. I'm hearing be mindful, be mindful of your thoughts and understand that you, your thoughts create your reality. So if you think, of course, this always happens, of course, no, don't let yourself start getting down when things start going awry in your life. Stay grateful, stay humble, stay like, okay, this is a challenge that I need to meet. This is something that spirit, there's a, there's a sign here that this is happening. So what's the sign? Let me look inside. Let me go inside. Let me rebalance myself so that I don't, don't get overwhelmed by the things that are happening to me. Yes. Understand, Earth Mother, feel loved and comforted, right? Understand that you are being guided, you are being protected through all of this. I'm feeling so much of my spiritual signs. Like, I'm hearing so many of my spiritual signs all around me right now. Um, There's something about butterflies, too. I'm really being drawn to butterflies or moths. You guys could have been seeing a lot of butterflies. I've been seeing a lot of orange butterflies here recently, Okay. Trader, exchange energy and create abundance. So absolutely, right? If you're trying to create this abundant energy around you, you need to understand that, like I said, an air of gratitude allows allows your spirit guides to come in and give you that abundance, right? You're putting out gratitude out into the universe. Thank you. Um, you're putting out that gratitude out there into the universe and spirit is saying, hey, that's what's going to allow us to come back in and be able to give you that, right? Trust in higher forces. Understand that we are here. Oh, it's just halved all over the place. Okay. Um, stag, trust and thrive, right? Trust, trust, trust in us. Trust in us. Understand, right? Trust in us. That's what I keep hearing. Trust in us. Yeah, traveler, move in a new direction, right? There's that traveler card. I told you I saw that traveler card. Don't open that door. Hey, don't you open that door. Sorry. <laughs> my dogs are like, we want to be on, we want to be out there with you. And one of my dogs is just like, I'm just going to just push this door open. She was trying to push it open with her nose. Being nosy. Um, you guys might have somebody be, trying to be nosy, trying to like insert their self into your energy, insert themselves into your plans. You know, you're like, they're like, well, what are you doing? Well, where are you going? Well, what, what, what are your plans? Well, what are you doing? And it's just like, it's really hard sometimes when you have those people in your life, especially if those people are important people like friends or family, or especially if they're like family, who's like, well, where are you going in your life? And we, we talk about all the time about how we're like, when you're trying to manifest things, it's important to kind of keep some of those things to yourself. Because even if people don't have even if you don't even if you're not surrounded by people who are actually wishing ill will on you you definitely can have some people around you that don't really believe in your intuition don't really believe in your intuition or don't really believe in your manifestations okay and that can really affect how your manifestations come in not just on their words but just on their thought process just on their it's just not going to happen right especially if you have somebody around you that tends to th always think really negatively about things like oh things just aren't going to work out that's just the way that it is especially if that person just has that really heavy energy about them okay and if you are really being pushed in your life to share your manifestations or to share, well, what are your plans? Well, what are you doing? Tell me details about what you're doing. Like, I don't, you know, and it's this very, just somebody doing that is like when, if you say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm really working on stuff. I've really got stuff going on. Well, what is it? 
well, you know, I'm just working on stuff. I, you know, and in your mind, you're thinking, well, I want to keep it to myself. But that person is, it's just them questioning and questioning and pushing and pushing and pushing creates this energy of mistrust, right? Like people don't trust me. And it, and just that subconscious knowing of that kind of really makes you start questioning yourself. And spirit is saying, don't question yourself. Don't let those people make you feel like you need to explain yourself all the time. You don't. Okay. Now, it might be one thing I understand if, like, your partner or somebody that you share finances with is like, hey, what are you doing? Are you building a business? Like, what are you, exactly are you doing? You do have some responsibilities to people, but try to keep the details of what you're doing as minimal as possible to people around you, okay? Especially, you know. You know who I'm talking about, okay? You know who you can share your stuff with. And even with people that you really love, that you trust, that you know are supportive of you, still be mindful of keeping those details of your manifestations to yourself, okay? Okay. right oh my gosh and then I'm drinking out of my fox my fox because <laughs> I love I love this it says oh for fox sakes drink your effing water <laughs> I got that because I'm like yes that's so me like please <laughs> please drink your effing water okay trust in the unknown okay trust in the unknown trust in higher forces there's this big right like I was just saying there's this big energy of you've got to trust you've got to trust yourself and and even if other people around you don't trust you to carry yourself or to take care of yourself know that you can and know that your spirit guides are here right that they're here that you're protecting you that you are not alone in this okay that they have your back and the ventures and things that you're doing okay for some of you it's specifically about the fact that you want to travel you might want to travel away from friends and family or go traveling like by yourself okay and your friends and family might be like I don't know if you can do that is that really the best idea right and you're just like no I'm really feeling guided to go out there I'm really, really drawn to that compass I'm really being drawn to the northwest okay so maybe some of you really want to travel northwest or you want to travel to some to somewhere that is northwest of where you are hope that fell all apart okay yeah, um, you might have had plans to travel and they kind of like fell apart or like friends backed out and you're like, but I still want to go. And, you know, people around you might be like, going by yourself? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Lord, take charge with authority. Be like, yeah, hell yeah, I can travel by myself. Like, yeah, I can do it. You know, like just take the proper precautions, you know, um, no emergency numbers, no, you know, have stuff programmed, have like your ice numbers, your emergency numbers programmed into your phone, you know, make sure that you have backups and battery packs and that you have everything that you need, um, you know, and just be responsible about how you're traveling, where you're going, you know, look up roadmaps and things like that so that you can know where you're going, where you're not just dependent just on your device or just, you know, things like that, just in case and just prepare yourself and know like, no, I'm backed up. I'm prepared. I have my file saved. I have all this stuff done. Like I've researched where I'm going, how to get there, you know, oh, well, you know, I can go here and I can go there. I'm just getting a really big like Virgo energy where it's just very much so like, oh, what is in Virgo today? There's something that's really going in, that's going, in, that's transitioning through Virgo today. Mm. Was it Jupiter? Is it Jupiter in Virgo? Yeah. Sage, be devoted and committed. Exactly. Just put in the work, right? Just put in the work. Know where you're going. Know what you're doing. Know who you're staying with. Know, you know, know the numbers of, of everything that you're doing. Just plan and organize and lay that shit out and be like, no, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm putting in the work. I know what I'm doing. You know? Like, no, I'm safe. I'm going to be okay. Oops, I didn't even see this head flipped around. Uh, water guardian, connect with your emotions. Absolutely. Just be like, I know what I'm doing. Oh, yes, that Venus in Scorpio, too, right? That's going to help you be, like, that's going to help you being connected to your emotions. Some of you. Oh, yeah? Okay. For some of apparently this is really important. For some of you, oh, you can't really see in this lighting out here. Maybe if I get it closer. You see that she kind of has that, um, I think it's, it's, it's similar to Metatron's cube, but it's not quite there. But it's there on her shoulder. Some of you might want to travel. Oh, okay. Travel to get a tattoo or travel to get something like that. 
you might have a compass or something like that. That's because I was really being drawn to the compass. You might have that. You might have a tattoo of the place that you want to travel, or you could just be really instinctively being drawn to go to this place, right? There's a particular place where you're like, I just need to go here. I need to visit there. I miss being there. Or I've never been there, but I just want to go. I just want to go so bad. I just, you know, I need to do this um, for some of you. But there's really something about a tattoo that I'm getting there too. Okay. Um, shaman. You guys hear that? You guys hear that train horn? What are y'all doing? Oh, those are big crows. Are those ravens? Those two might be ravens. There's like two ravens above me. Those are huge. If there's a crows, those are huge. Those are way bigger than, than the crows that were up here before. There's two of them. They're together. Oh, that's so funny. Mm. One of them is trying to, like, crack open, like, a shell or a nut or something that they have. They're, like, using their beak to, like, bang it on the, on the branch that they're sitting on. I'm being so drawn to that right now. Okay. Um... Yeah, but it's still this more, this trust in higher forces just keeps coming out. Like, you are being guided to to this place for a reason. There's definitely something here about your spiritual guides that you're being guided. I'm also being really guided to uh, pay attention to these bells right here. To the bells. Um, a bell tower. Um, in this place, that you, there might be, like, a bell tower or um, I'm seeing, like, a really, like, tall structure. Um, here in Notre Dame, like, um, you might want to visit some kind of church or something that's there at this place like you have an itinerary of stuff that you want to do did you throw that down what is that what are they doing Shit. Sorry, I'm being so distracted by them right now. I'm just like paying attention to them. Yeah, I was just about to say it's hunting something. They're both hunting things. And then look, the hunter came out. Track down your fears and desires. Yeah. So some of you are really, really feeling scared about going to this place, about visiting this place, but you're just like, I'm being so drawn there. I have to go there. I have to do this. Look, and look at this guy covered in tattoos with these blue tattoos. Again. The Huntsman. Oh, yes. This guy is, oh, what is it? it it's a Viking or like a Norse. Mm, it starts with an H. I'm so sorry. I cannot remember. But it's so funny, though, that the two ravens are up there just calling my attention so much. And then this. If the shield maiden came out, that would really that would really get me, too. The mountains. This place that you might that you might be drawn to somewhere might be very mountainous. Look at this. Dream and journey. Wow. You might have had a dream about wanting to go there. Wherever you go, spring, see your seeds grow. There's, it's going to be very fruitful for you there. Very fruitful. <sighs> Elder breaking outside of ancestral patterns. Definitely. I'm being really drawn to all. To, suddenly, I started talking about that tattoo, and then a lot of the, a lot of the figures that are being brought out, a lot of the ancestors that are being brought out have like this kind of like body art sort of type vibe about them. Hmm interesting very interesting but with the train horn sorry spirits from running thank you spirit um to train horn is also when you're hearing like train horns or sirens or things like that it's also archangel michael coming through to tell you that there's protection that there's warnings here for you uh not as in like for some sometimes it can be like hey warning there's something going on here um especially with like the crows or the ravens like cawing at the same time as the train horn was going in the background so there's definitely like this like hey but with this i'm getting like don't miss these signs like hey like don't miss the train like don't 
don't miss this bus. Like, don't miss this. Look at that. Look at the raven coming out. As soon as I said that, hello, don't miss the signs. You're getting these signs. Unlock the magic within. You're getting these signs. Grow within your current situation, okay? You're getting these signs to, to grow, to travel, to push yourself, to develop. Spirit saying, don't miss this. Oh my gosh. I was just talking about that raven having like a nut or something that they were trying to crack open in their mouth. And look at this. Look at that raven. It's got like a like a pearl or a nut in their mouth. Look at that. I think what it is supposed to be kind of it's reminding me of how um I know how I've done like done some kind of research on ravens or or that before or crows also too where it's like you can train them to go get you things like they will go and they will bring presents to you, right? So it's like, are they really attracted to the, these shiny things? And it's like, they've gone and got this out and they're bringing it back to this woman. And she's here pinning it on her. So it's like hunting things down, getting them and like bringing them back, right? And this trading abundance kind of energy here that you're having with your spirit guides. Mountains, stand your ground. Yeah, so stand strong, stand your ground. Somebody's like, no, you shouldn't go do this. No, you shouldn't go do that. Yeah. Retreat and recharge. Go inside and go and do this. For some of you, you might be wanting to go away to some kind of spiritual retreat or just you're just like, I just need this break away. Like, I need it. Like, I need to go. For some of you, there's this big imagery of, like, being somewhere where you see, like, a mountain and then have it, like, reflected in the water beneath it. So there looks like there's like, so it gets like this imagery here where it's like two mountains merging into one kind of vibes that I'm getting there. It's very like picturesque. Yeah. Skyfather, trust in the unknown. Again, like you're being guided there. You're like, I don't know why, but I just need to go. I don't know why, but I just need to go. Protection guardian, drop your shields. You're being protected. You're being guided. You're being protected while you're traveling. You're being protected. That's You're being guided to go here because you're being protected what was left behind yeah three of swords in reverse you're being guided there to really help uh break yourself away from old negative bonds that's what i'm really getting yeah to let go remember what i was saying earlier that a lot of you are being guided to like let go of any kind of material wants or needs right give those up to trans um, mutation for your spirit guides absolutely um I'm hearing 1616. You guys look that up. Look up angel number 1616. Knight of Swords. Somebody is being asked to make really swift, uh, a swift judgment call is what I'm hearing. A swift decision. Like, okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to do this. Yeah, three of pinnacles in reverse. I'm going to do this even if others don't want to help me do this. Or I'm going to do this even if I have to do this by myself. Even, like I said, even if I have to go alone and other people don't support that, I'm going to do that. It might be a specific relationship in your life that you're having to let go of or that you're having to walk away from. Or that just in this moment, you're like, I have this here. I have this opportunity to take this moment. Like, I'm going to do it. Like, I'm sorry that you don't, I'm hearing that you don't respect me. You feel like this person doesn't respect you. There's this really big lack of collaboration with that two of cups in reverse too. I'm not just getting like a relationship ending. I'm also getting just like, because a big thing with the two of cups in this deck, at least when I, I'm reading the book on this particular um, artist, or this particular creator's interpretation of the two of cups is really about two opposite things coming together yet working. And that's really opposites, like things being too different and it tearing, tearing a relationship or tearing a couple apart. So it's just not going to work out. It's just too different to make it. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm hearing this a lot here recently with this page of cups in reverse. It's unapologetic. 
either somebody owes you an apology and they won't give it to you. Like you said, you feel like they don't respect you enough to apologize for them acting childish or saying something, maybe calling, you know, like calling you out your name or just talking really disrespectful to you. And you're just like, you don't even respect me enough to believe that I can do this. It's like a really big disrespectful moment where this person is just like, you couldn't handle doing that. You couldn't handle doing this. And you're just like, what? Like, yes, I could. Like, you really don't believe in me, do you? Yeah. King of Cups. You're like, yes, I can. Okay? It's a really big emotional decision is what I want to say here. I'm really getting this feeling up here of this person how see how it's like the waves are like rising up and crashing over this person but yet they're sitting there really calmly just kind of just like and it's this really big feeling of burying burying your emotions feeling like overwhelmed but having to stay calm on the surface it's like I have this idea I have this something that I want to go do that I, but I have to stay calm or I have to stay like no it's okay when underneath the surface it's like bubbling up yeah there's definitely some devil energy here being hidden somebody's kind of obsessed okay obsessed with something somebody has a lust or a passion or uh perhaps even some kind of addiction or something that they don't want to admit to okay Ooh, what just came out here oh look at that queen of wands in reverse somebody is in some really um whoa um so <sighs> i'm gonna say it the nice way this person said it in a very like yeah, but anyway, I'm a, like maybe perhaps this person is a little loose with their sexual energy, okay? Um, there's somebody here that's a little loose with their sexual energy. I'm hearing drunk on power. Somebody feels a little drunk on power and feels like, I'm just going to do it and there's nothing you can do about it. And this other person in a relationship here is feeling like, well, I just have to hide how I really feel about this, okay? I just have to hide how I really feel about this situation here. And it's really, this person feels like you don't respect me. Uh, knight. also here with this queen of wands being paired with a knight of cups so a lot of in and out like quickly moving in and then quickly moving right back out in their love energy or in their sexual energy okay or in their their attention their affection like somebody comes in when they want you they want you when they don't want you they're gone and they're out of here and they don't have any time any time for you okay and page of swords i really feel like somebody is doing is either getting some kind of message that is confirming this kind of behavior that's coming from this person or or they're or you like this person is king of cups is just really seeing this it's really starting to see this person for who who, who they really are is really getting some information that's really helping them put into context who this person really is and what they're you know labeling their energy for what it really is you need me when you need me when you don't need me i'm cast to the side and my emotions my thoughts they don't matter what i want to feel doesn't matter like that's what this person feels like in this relationship and they're just like that's not working out for me i don't want to have to always feel like i have to stifle how i feel about things or not talk about how i feel about things and you don't seem like you care like you don't care about how i feel about about you not doing something are you doing something um with this queen of wands in reverse it could also be for some of you it could be somebody that's a little loose in their sexual energy somebody that could be cheating on somebody and just not caring and this person could have found out about it or this person could um be very judgmental um of this of this king of cups character okay this queen of wands could um be very caught up in materialistic pursuits or you know worrying what things look like on the outside like no this is what I want and that's what I want period it doesn't matter what you want it doesn't matter if it's not if we can't handle it if we can't afford it if we no I just want it and I want it right now and that just is what it is and what they want changes all the time <laughs> right so it's like they chase in they run after they are so deeply impassioned about something they spend a bunch of money on it or they do that and then they're just like okay and they're like on to the next thing on to the, it's like it never ends it's like okay well you just had to have this and you just had to do this and you just had to go there and then when you got it you were like this was great on to the next thing now there's something else you know 
Two days later, it's, I just have to have this. I have to have this. I've never wanted anything more in my whole entire life. And it's like, didn't you say that about the last thing that you just got? Like, you just got that. And now you're like, I have to have this. And it's the and it's the thing that I want most in the whole world. It's the only thing I've ever wanted. And it's what I have to have, you know? And it's like, if they got it or if they didn't get it, it would just be on to the next thing. On to the next thing. On to the next thing. <laughs> Sorry. There's like this huge spider that's like building a web and it's building a web like right in the way of me going back inside my house. And I'm like, why are you doing that? Like, please don't do that. Yeah. This person is very financially focused. Okay. Um, this person, they might want to spend a large amount of money on this situation and they're, and you're just like, I can't. Um, but there's some kind of new start or new opportunity coming here. Yeah, somebody is getting some kind of good news here that's gonna, that's gonna, um, like I said, they're getting, they've been waiting or they've been observing something, learning, that's what this page of swords is, is collecting information, learning, researching, um, watching something or reading something, you know, getting some kind of message that, that was really informative, okay, and then in comes like this, this opportunity, right, an opportunity for a new beginning or an, a golden opportunity here, okay, that is like a, like this good news, that's what this good news is coming in, okay, switch over, okay, it could be home or family related, something that this, that you've been waiting for, that this person has been really waiting for. I'm really getting this King of Cups has really been waiting for for a long time. I'm hearing somebody say, I want to be the selfish one. Okay. Oh. Um... that spider jumping around and like building a web like a web of communication like something along those lines but there is a sense here of something perhaps maybe that wasn't working out in the past is working itself out or Pull some more energy. Look at this. King of Pentacles in reverse. Matching that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, shit. Somebody might lose their job. Somebody might quit their job. I'm getting a really big sense of there could be like a, a change up of energy where there could be one person that mainly supports the family or the this dynamic that financially supports the dynamic and something could happen to where the other person is now expected to support the dynamic. It's like, okay, well, I can't work. So now you have to go out and get a job or you have to support us. And this other person is like, what? <sighs> yeah. Somebody is being really guided, hermit card, to go inside and have some alone time, have some, I'm hearing regeneration time. This person could be having to recover from some kind of energy, um, not energy, yes, they could be having to recover from some kind of in, in, injury is what I was trying to say, but I really feel like this person got energetically, oh, this person could have gotten energetically attacked or something? Somebody here is really being guided to go inside and find the truth of the situation because, because perhaps maybe in the past somebody chose work or chose money over love because somebody felt like it wasn't the right time for love or somebody feels really unlucky in love.
Hmm. Is there more that you want to say about this spirit? Somebody's going to have to be strong. Somebody's going to have to show their strength. Somebody in a past, in person reverse, has not been very nurturing, has not been very supportive or very nurturing. And it's like, okay, it's your turn. Can you can you do what you expect other people to do for you? You expect it's like being in a partnership with somebody and being like, oh well, I just expect you to pay all the bills and I expect you to do that. But then it's like this person gets hurt and they can't work. So it's like, okay, well now you have to support us. It's your turn, right? It's it's time for me to sit at home or it's time for me to not have to, you know, not be able to support us or, you know, to need your help. And it's like, this other person is like, I ain't got it for you. And this person is like, what? This could have happened already. And this person was like, really started going inside and thinking like, clearly, like clearly, Maybe this person got hurt or, like, injured or something, or this person lost their job, and so they had to spend some time by themselves, right? And they were like, okay, well, I spend most of the time supporting this person or paying most of the bills. You know, this person still has their job, so while I'm recovering or while I'm taking care of myself, while I'm going inside and resting and recovering from this, I'm, I'm really getting, like, somebody could have had to have surgery or something. Yeah, and they were like, okay. And then while they were recovering or while they were going through this, they were spending a lot of time thinking about the cup that they didn't take. And how whatever choice that they did choose left them very unnurtured, very unfulfilled. Yeah, they caused an injustice to themselves. It wasn't fair. It wasn't balanced, right? And, and that's what this person is realizing. This person is realizing, like, well, like, I'm there for you all the time. I support you all the time. I do this all the time. And when it's your turn to support us or when it's your turn, 41:44 down the clock when I look down there, okay, your, your spirit guides are conspiring or arranging this to happen so that you can see that this person or, or so this person or you can see that this person really doesn't serve you. Like, like they could not do for you like you do for them. They would not do for you like they, like you do for them. They would not, they would not be, there's a tower moment here for this person. Yeah. You're learning lessons here. All right. You got injured. Like I said, right? The wounded warrior. You got injured and you're here learning like, look how that person's looking like, wait, what? I'm here injured, having to walk on a cane or I had to have surgery because I like fell down and like broke my leg or did something like this. And I'm here walking on this cane or I'm here and I injured myself or injured, hurt my back or something like that. And now you're going to sit here and tell me that you wouldn't be there for me the way that I've been there for you. Now that, you know, if you, when you got down and out, I was there for you. But when the shoe was on the other foot, like you can't be there for me. You know, you can't just pay the bills for a little bit because I'm out of work right now. Like, I'm literally injured, laying in bed or in the hospital. Like, I can't. I literally can't do this right now. And you're telling me that you can't go and get a job for a few months to support our family or you can't pay the bills for a little bit like I do all the time? Like, you you won't do this to so that we don't go under or so that, you know, the bills still get paid? Hello? Hello? This person is like, I pay the bills all the time. I support you. I not only support your bills, but I support your habits. I support your spending habits. I let you splurge, right? Remember how I was saying earlier how this person was like, I need the money to do this, and then I need the money to do this, and then I need the money to do this, and now I need the money to do that. I just got an email about getting the best deals and how you save. So this person could be really big. Like, I have to buy this. They, they, they fall for those things where it's like, this is on sale, so I have to buy it. Oh, my gosh. It's an eagle. It's so close. It was so close. Holy crap. Wow. Um, and it's just like, definitely, right? Like, that's reminding me of the, um, is the C from the Higher Perspective card that's in this deck. Take charge with authority with this Lord card. That's like the Divine Masculine card here. Absolutely. Look. Shift your perspective. What did I say? Right? Hello? Why don't you let me see this card? Anyway. But this person is just like, you're not going to be there for me the way that I'm there for you. You know? 
I do I go above and beyond for you but when I was down when I was out when I really needed you you couldn't be there for me yeah that's card in reverse no you ain't you ain't got you ain't got my back like I got your back you're not there for me like I'm there for you you're not trying to do this like I'm trying to do this for you you're not trying to be there for me like I'm trying to be there for you what kind of BS is this exactly now this person's laying in bed recovering this person could have even left them this person's like oh you can't pay my bills anymore I'm gone I'm out of here I'm abandoning you it's kind of like the sense of this person being there for them like the whole time thinking that they were going to have this wonderful ten of cups like happy lovely life together and then everything was fine as long as this person was getting up and they were working and they had money but it's like you know maybe you know the the you know pandemic or something like or the quarantine you know maybe the, this person's industry got shut down their business got shut down their business really started to suffer everything was good as long as the money was rolling in but then when the money stopped rolling in it's like okay well you're gonna have to support us for a little while or you're you know like i'm down and out i'm hurt you're gonna have to get up and go get a job and you're gonna have to pay the bills for a little bit and you're gonna have to cut back on spending on you know on i'm hearing makeup palettes okay or you're gonna have to stop spending on so many of the of the extra things that you get you know you, you might not be able to get you know i might not be able to buy you all the gifts that i can get you all the time you might not you might have to take a break from getting your hair and your nails done every week you know we need to save money right now like it's this is you know we're struggling right now you're just you know you're gonna have to make it and be okay and this person is like make it and be okay like how about no how about i'll just go with be with somebody else that has the money and this person's like wait are you joking <sighs> Are you, are you abandoning me when I need you the most? Like, I'm hearing, I thought we were supposed to have each other back. It's like this person would always say, like, you're my husband or you're, you're, we're supposed to have each other's back, you know? And you're supposed to support me in my endeavors. So I need, I need you to come through and support me. And then when that person said the same thing back to them, like, hey, you're supposed to be there. You're supposed to support me. You're going to have to be understanding about what's happening right now. That This person was like, no, I don't. And now this person is, is having to defend themselves, having to, to deal with this person's stuff. Look, your spirit guides are telling you, to patience, we're, we're showing you. These two cups don't match. It's not an equal give and take. When you need this person, they're not there for you. Damn, that's fucked up. Hello? <sighs> when you needed this person, they weren't there for you. They weren't there to support you. They weren't. They didn't have your back like you had their back. And you realized this person or you realized, oh, wow, I've really been overly controlling the situation, trying to either this person is in too much control, like right? this person won't let go of, of their control issues. I really feel like that's this person, whether they're a man or whether they're a woman or whatever. I really feel like they're operating in this really um, emperor, like their masculine energy that's inside of them, because we all have both. Right. Um, is really in this big control freak thing where it's just like, no, I have to have it my way and I'm not going to compromise that exactly and now this person feels trapped this person feels trapped by that or maybe this person feels trapped by mistakes or choices they made in a past like wow i really made the wrong choice or wow i really invested in the wrong person or in the wrong thing in the wrong family in the wrong you know i was concentrating on exactly what this person made a deep investment and they kept waiting for this investment to come back on them and it hasn't right they were like shit all this time i've been investing all this money and all this everything into this or, you know, this could be them talking about their business. Like, oh my gosh, I've been investing all this business in this. And it could have been something like, I'm hearing hospitality in the hospitality in industry or something like that. They could have been working to open up like, I don't know, like bed and breakfast or open up some kind of hotel. They could have worked in the hotel industry or something like that. And then, boom, you know, the everything that happened last year hit and like their industry was completely devastated, right? Um... Tra maybe they had to travel for their job and travel was shut down and they just lost a lot of money, you know, and it, it wasn't like they went completely under, you know, but they had to really cut back and they really had to, you know, try to keep it together. And this other person just fell apart, right? This other person was like, if I can't live this super materialistic lifestyle that I've come accustomed to, I'll go somewhere else or go be with somebody else that I can do that with. And this person is just like, are you serious? Like, are you serious? Like, you can't handle, like, a year or two of us, of money being a little tight? So what does that mean, you know? Like, why would I invest? Why would I stay married to you? Why would I invest money or time or all this into you or help you start up your own business when 
if you, if things get a little bit tight, if money gets a little bit tight for a little bit, you know, you can't handle it and you want to drop and abandon ship and like run off and leave me when stuff gets a little bit tight. Wow. So spirits could be telling you, you know, like this happened for a reason. I know it can be very heartbreaking, but heal your energy because, yeah, more of this Knight of Swords energy. This person made a very quick, irrational decision, okay, because, you know, co you know, collaborations are coming back together. People that didn't want to work with you, now they're coming back around. Ten of Pentacles is coming back around, right? This person didn't want to stay and invest. You know, you're investing a seven of pentacles so you can get a ten of pentacles back. Yeah, this was really org is what I'm hearing. You might have been married to this person. Wow, this is some shit for real though. It's <laughs> a lot of information here. I feel like there's like several different stories here and I feel like what it what I'm really noticing from doing these really long messages like this over the over time is that a lot of time we done thank you um a lot of times in these messages um I will shit like the the energy will kind of shift throughout me talking about it so I'm either talking about things that are happening over a distant amount of time like maybe I'll start about talking about what ha what happened in the past and then I'll move into the present and then I'll talk a little bit more about the future or the perspective kind of shifts I'll maybe perhaps I start off in your perspective and then it switches to your person's perspective and then maybe to somebody else's perspective that's in the situation okay or you know it's like oh this is what your person's dealing with this is what you're dealing with this is what the third party you know that's on the outside is dealing with or maybe you know I start off talking about one person then it shifts over to talk about a different love interest or a different person or a different possibility okay it could shift back and forth between you and your person right so just pay attention to that you guys if if, sh if stuff starts to shift it could be one that the first part of the message or the ending part of the message is for you but not other parts okay or it could be that you know just think outside of the box and, and see that okay not all of this whole entire message has to be from my perspective or how to deal with me and the issues that I'm going through. Yeah. So, what I'm really getting from this right here is that somebody got some kind of idea or they got some kind of I'm trying to figure out how spirit wants because they're showing me an image of a person like grabbing this stick and then have and then getting involved in this fight so it's like having a dog in the fight you know that saying where it's like the saying is usually I don't have a dog in this fight which I don't like that saying because dog fighting no absolutely not um but I get the meaning of this saying you know where it's kind of like I don't know like I don't I'm not really involved in this like I don't really don't have anything to do with it like it's not my fight not my circus not my you know not my monkeys not my circus or however you want to say it. it's like not that it really has nothing to do with me but it's like now it's like either this person didn't have a reason to fight and now they do right maybe perhaps they were just like I don't really have a reason to get out of this relationship or I really don't have a reason to to be involved in this drama but now they but now this person does It's kind of like having something to fight for. Or having an idea that makes people go back and forth, you know, wants to fight them. They have an idea, they want to do something, and it's making people want to fight. Or it's making, you know, it's it's kind of like, maybe it's this this uh, this information, right? I said that they got this information about this person, they've been learning about this person, and now they know who this person is. And before, maybe they were just like, whatever, I... I really don't have a reason to, for, they were going along with whatever was going on, but now they've learned some kind of deeper information about this person. Maybe perhaps they've learned more about what's going on in this person's mind. Like what, like what are their intentions? What are they really, you know, like I said, you know, before they were like, it's fine, it's fine. And they let this person get away with a lot of that, you know, and what you want and, and what you want your financial situation and your dynamic and what one partner brings to the table and what the other one is okay with is 
personal, it's unique, it's your personal business. So if you're okay with your partner not working or if you're okay with spending, spending, spending money on your partner, that's your business, that's your issue. But this person has learned something here, right? And I really think it has to do with this person's intentions. Like, you don't have my back like, like I have your back. You're not there for me, right? I give so much to you, but when it comes to you giving to me, there is nothing there. You know, there is nothing there. There is no intention to make sure that the things that I need and the things that I want are taken care of in this situation or that I'm taken care of in this situation, right? Like this person might have been there all the time for this person I was just about to say. And when they got injured or when they got hurt, they're like, you're not there for me at all. Like, damn, I'm there for you all the time. And I got injured. I got hurt. I got down. I got kicked while I was down. And you kicked me further down into the ground. Like, oh, who would want to be with you anymore? Bye. And you were just like, are you serious? Oh, this person was like, are you serious? That's insane. No, it's not insane. That's the truth. Unfortunately. Yeah. When this person got down and out. Nope. They were not okay with that. Excuse me. Sorry, there's a bug. I think it's like a mosquito. Right? A mosquito. Like uh, like this person realized that this other person was just feeding off of them. This other person was there for them as long as they could give stuff to them, but they had nothing. They weren't giving anything back, right? All they were doing was taking. Five, 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 down on the clock. Wow. Big changes, big changes. King of Swords. No. This is also an, another outside energy. There's another outside energy here that's a King of Swords energy that's interjecting themselves into this fight. Look. <laughs> Look. Tower. Now I do hear a, hear a helicopter. Because I hear the blades. What is going on? I really get the sense of this person was waiting. I feel like this person might have had some kind of instinctual feeling that somebody around them wasn't being on the up and up. There was something around them that wasn't really on the up and up. And they were waiting to see right? Flushing out. It's like flushing out the rat or flushing out. Who's the person? Who's the traitor? Who's the mole? Who's the person that's actually working for the other side? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? And I think it really surprised this person who it was. And I really feel like this, this person got surprised with learning that, yeah, that this person they did see is a queen of cups here was involved in it too it's like almost like I feel like this person was trying to find out this person knew there was a king of swords in reverse energy around them and they were trying to figure out who it was who is it who is it and they there was two people one of the part one of the people which was the person that they were in some kind of relationship or they were there was somebody that was really close to them that uh, it was both people were close to this person close to this person but one of them was like their lover they were in a relationship with they were married to them that person surprised them it's like <laughs> i'm getting this spoilers i guess i'm getting this scene from the end of monsters inc do you guys remember that po that pixar movie monsters inc where at the very end of it like ross comes out as being like like spoilers you know ross the the worker ross comes out as being part of like the investigation right and she was like she was like i knew something was funny here but i without you i would have never known this went all the way up to water news i just heard that right so it's like i never would have known that it went up that that 
if I hadn't have found this information out, if I hadn't have been trying to look for this King of Swords, I never would have known it, it came, the, the betrayal came so close all the way up to my partner or all the way up to the person that I was in a relationship with. Like, I, I knew this King of Swords was betraying me, but I never would have known that they had even you involved in this. It's the kind of energy that I'm getting. Like, even you were, were, were betraying me. I'm getting really getting this really big sense of the person I was laying down next to at night, the person I trusted, like this person I was trusting. Look, what did I say? I never would have known it was the person I was in a relationship with. Wow. Yeah. Look, 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 look. That queen of cups had secrets that came out and it caused this person a lot of burdens. They were like, holy crap, I had no idea. I had no idea that you two were working together behind my back. I thought, okay, so the Queen of Cups sometimes is like the mother of someone's children, okay? Um, this could be somebody that they're married to, somebody they have children with, and they're just like, I never would have known that you that it was you that was causing me all these burdens. I never would have known. This person was also doing something for like emo like out of their emotions this person was really being driven really deeply out of really deep emotions it was like this really big big need for for revenge or something this person was being really led by led by it's like <laughs> this queen of cups is little is petty as hell this queen of this queen of cups is petty as hell because they're like do you remember that one time like 10 years ago when you said this or when you did this yeah that's why I did it and it's like are you joking since then we've gotten married had kids did all of this we've been together this whole time and you're telling me that you're doing this because of this something that's like this big that happened like years ago so you did something this big for something that I did that was this big that happened years ago that you told me that you were over that's why we got in a relationship that's why we stayed together this person this queen of cups has been playing the long 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 game the long 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 game hiding their emotions hiding how they really feel golly oh wait what did i accidentally pick up look i accidentally picked up the king of swords hiding behind there who and I was like, what is that? What is that hiding behind there? These this. This King of Swords was hiding behind all of this. So this King of, King of Swords could have helped orchestrate this. They could have helped. They could have been originally re, uh, trying to bet betray this person or bet betray you. And this King of Swords came in as the catalyst of, well, I know how you can get back at this person, or I'm going to give you the revenge you've been looking for kind of energy here <sighs> I told you they're trying to balance this out I really feel like this was financially involved here I really feel like I don't feel like I feel like this king of swords could have been really dangerous could have been trying to actually injure like actually physically harm this person this person could have remember how i said this person got physically injured like on the job or did something or gotten a, a car wreck or something like that this king of swords could have manipulated that and made that happen and i don't think this queen of cups wanted this person to like get injured or anything like that but they they wanted to hit them where it hurt and where it hurt was knowing that they betrayed them and also their money they're like, I know what this person cares about most, and it's their money. So I'm going to make sure they lose a bunch of money. <sighs> but mostly, really deep inside, this person did this so that they could know what it felt like to be betrayed. They're like, I want you to know what it, what it feels like to be completely, deeply involved and in love with somebody and know that that's the person that betrayed you. Jesus. This could have happened so, so long ago, okay? They could have been dating or something, and then this person, this this nine of wands person could have, like, cheated or did something, and they were like, they broke up, 
they went some years with out of each outside of a relationship or something and in in came back in this person like okay like i love you i couldn't get over you i just want to be with you and this person is like oh my gosh yes i felt just felt the same way i really wanted to be with you too i really missed you too i'm so sorry about everything like okay like it's been years i'm over it let's move on from it you know we're both older now we everybody makes mistakes okay and these people like got together got married had kids and the whole time this person was holding on to the grudge that this person betrayed them or this person cheated on them that one time and this person played the severe long game of one day i'm going to be able to get back at you for the pain or the embarrassment that you caused me And I really feel like that's what it is. Like, this person feels very prideful. This Queen of Cups. I'm being really drawn to the... It's like a kid holding a fish. <laughs> tell me... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm laughing about this. But tell me this little kid right here holding this fish doesn't look like somebody that's bathing with a fish. Does that not look like somebody's like... <laughs> what? What? Fishy. Something that smells fishy. It's a setup. It's a motherfucking settle. Yeah. Yeah. Death. In the end, this person was just trying to hold them back. This person was like, well, I'm I can I can make the best but be like it's, this person instead of being like, oh, the best the best revenge is just moving on, getting on, having a good life without this person and showing them that I'll be with somebody else who treats me right and they'll just miss out. No, that this person was like, no, the best revenge is going to be infiltrating this person's life, getting really close to them, making them trust me, making them love me, making them be devoted to me and do all this stuff for me. And then at the very end, be like, ha ha, gotcha. I didn't love you this whole time. It was all a trick. Ha <laughs> ha. Like, what? And this person involved kids and involved, like, all kinds of stuff. It, this person might not have been involved, might not. This person could have got pregnant. This person, it's possible that this queen, of, this queen of Cups could have got pregnant by this King of Swords and then told this person that's being represented here by this Nine of Wands that it was their child. But there's something fishy here about this kid. There's a kid here and there's something fishy about that kid. And they're all part of the the scam. This kid is part of the scam. How have I never noticed that before? How have I never... And this card, it gets me all sometimes. Like, I sit here and I stare at these cards. And I, you know, memorize their meanings and do stuff like that. And, and it just, like, it still surprises me how much, like, spirit will just be like, now pay attention to this. And you're just like, how have I never noticed this little boy bathing with a fish? And look how big it is compared to the card. Like, it's a big, huge part of this card. That, I don't know, the imagery of just that like little kid, like, like bathing with a fish. Like, it, I don't know. It gets me. But it's just, there's something fishy. There's something fishy about a child here as well. And that's a hell of a thing to do. Like, how selfish do you have to be to be like, you know, to involve a kid, to involve a whole nother life, to involve something in this and that, like, is, it's like... The punishment does not fit the crime. You know, like, if this person cheated on you or you felt like they betrayed you, just move on with your life. Be like, F you and move on with your life like everybody else. Don't go and marry this person or be with this person and convince this person that they need to love you and, you know, that they just want to be with you and then run through their money and, you know, this person's super karmic. Run through their money and spend up all their money and put them in debt and, and do all this other stuff. And then and then in the end be like, hmm, I didn't even love you anyway. I didn't even want to be with you anyway. Anyway, I'm out of here. Bye. And by the way, I've been cheating. Oh, I was trying to say, I was about to say I've been cheating on you with this king of swords. And I almost said I've been cheating on you with your brother. Look. Look at that. That woman and that little boy walking away. And didn't I say... Didn't I say somebody was walking on crutches because they hurt their leg? Look at that. Oh, man, it looks like it's going to rain. I got to rewrap this up. I'm going to wrap this up. Sweetie. Yeah. This person convinced themselves that they were their soulmates. That they were, oh, yeah, this is the person I want to be. And I'm really being drawn to that snake back there. I'm just telling you. 
it was that was not it that was not it this person was being led astray this person was actually looking at this person like competition if i like remember what i said like how would you do that why would you do that yeah this person's like i'll do anything to win i'll do anything like th this person all this person did was do something that embarrassed this person like you embarrassed me and this person invested years in a get back scheme on this person years just to walk away that's crazy that is crazy it is getting so cold oh my gosh there's those crows I knew it would come out eventually. Release the old and rest. Yeah. All these crows are coming out to tell you. Release the old. Get rid, get rid of this. Get rid of this. Let it go. This person, not worth it. It's not. And it's not, it's not worth trying to figure out why karmics do the terrible karmic things that they do. Okay? Some people are karmics for a little bit and they move on and they graduate out of it and they move on and they become much better people who take responsibility and some people never do. Some people never grow up and they stay karmic for their whole entire life. You know? And after they move on from you, they'll go be karmic to somebody else. Probably karmic to this, to this king of, of, of swords. And that's what they get. Almost a king of wands. So, somebody that's in lustful energy. Yeah. Be open to healing information. Just know, boo. Okay? Just know that it's time for you to move on from this person. Exactly. Because you got happiness. Enjoy success and happiness. You know that you got happiness. You got the sun is coming back out. Once you can disconnect from this person and you spend this time healing yourself, you will have happiness again in your life. I'm so sorry to this person. I'm sorry to this man. And But in a little... But in a... That's what I just heard. <laughs> um... It's so funny. I'm the type of person that when I get awkward or when it, something's awkward or sad, like I make a joke or I'm just like, <laughs> I laugh. I do like that nervous laughter stuff. But like, my and, but my spirit guides are the same way. <laughs> my spirit guides are the same way. They'll, you know, they'll make, they'll crack a joke in the middle of talking about something dead ass serious. I guess that's why we vibe. Um... I know. I'm telling them. Yeah. The crows are coming through strong. Oh, I just saw a raindrop. They're coming through strong to tell you exactly. You're learning from this spiritual experience. Great teacher. You're really learning. Learn from these spiritual experiences. See, animal guardian, you are being surrounded. See that crow on your shoulder being like, hey. Hey, hey, hey. You know? They, they illuminated the snakes that were in your life and it's time for you to shed your old skin. This old life was an old skin that you need to shed and you need to move on from. Okay? Exactly. And there's the fault. There's the fault. Hi, you guys. Sorry about that transition, but... Ooh, it just started raining. Remember I was saying, ooh, I thought I felt some raindrops. Like, yeah. It just started, like, pouring down rain and I had to, like, gather up my cards and I bring my device inside. But what I'm really getting from that, right, is, like, there's a definite big clearance that's happening in your life through this person, like, exiting your life, okay? I'm um, sorry, just one second. Okay, my bad. Um, So there's a big, like, clearance. Oh, I'm getting with that rain just, like, suddenly falling out of nowhere. The temperature also just, like, plummeted, of course, because it was raining, right? Like I said, this person saw themselves as, like, big competition. Look at that. Seven of Swords. They were in Seven of Swords energy, okay? And the thing about it is, is that Spirit is illuminating this to you, okay? So that you can know that this person doesn't serve you, right? That this person is unhealed and that, that you were unhealed because you were holding on to this person. You were holding on to this person. This person was taking from your... Or from there, this person's, you know, abundance. And was putting them in this matching their energy, right? With that queen of pinnacles in reverse at the very beginning that, that showed themselves, right? Yeah, spirit is saying that you need to get away from this energy. That you need to detach yourself from this energy, okay? Because I'm definitely getting there. This person is holding you back with that six of swords energy. This person is definitely holding you back, right? There with all those eagle imagery that we got, right? See things from a higher perspective, See this person from a higher perspective. See who they really are in your life and why why they were there and how they were just there using you, you know? And I know that can be can be very hurtful. It can be extremely hurtful to be like, oh, snap. You know? But in the end, yeah. Be fearless and stand strong. Okay? 
that flipped out of my hand in a, such a weird way. Okay, uh, warrior, be fearless and stand strong. Spirit is telling you, you know, surround yourself, be a white witch, be the light. Surround yourself with this white protective light, okay? And be this warrior. This person is turning you into this warrior spirit that's learning how to, to stand up and defend yourself, right? Look, that lady, enjoy growth and reap rewards. Yeah. Honor your inner knowing with this medicine mother here, okay? And also, you know, shift your perspective on who you thought this person was and who you thought you could trust, you thought you could have around you, okay? Shall and master, be graceful in movement and action, right? And don't close down your heart, right? Earth guardian, stay grounded and uh, stay rooted and grounded, right? Don't close down your heart chakra. Just because this one person wasn't giving you genuine love doesn't mean there are not people out there who will give you genuine love. Doesn't mean that there are not people out there who deserve your love and deserve your affection. Spirit was just coming through letting you know it's not this person, right? Just real simply, it's not this person. They don't deserve that at all. Why'd you do that? Sorry. All right. I was trying to find my cat. Sometimes he is like the most feral thing ever. Like I know cats have like a really wide range of ways that they eat, but some, a lot of times he'll pick up his food and then he'll just throw it. Like he'll have it in his mouth and he'll just shake, shake, shake his mouth and just throws food everywhere. And I'm like, I literally just came and like cleaned off the countertop and I'm like, he, he hates the countertop to be clean. He's or like the spot where they eat. And he's just like, mm -mm, there's gotta be food thrown around everywhere. Like cat food thrown around everywhere. And I'm like, Stop it. Oh. But you, that's what you might have felt like, though. Okay, tying that in. Hey, baby. Tying that in to, to this. Like, you really, you really could have felt like you had to baby this person. You had to clean up their messes all the time. And as soon as you would come up there and clean up a mess, or as soon as you would come around and clean up this person or get them back on track, they would just do something very purposely, right? And it's just in their nature. That's just who this person is, right? And that does not mean that, oh, you just have to accept that this person very purposely self-sabotages self themselves, throws themselves under the buses all the time, throws you un and, and vicariously throws you under the bus as well. Like this person might be the type of person that's always, I just need this money. I just need this money. I'm going to invest it in this big thing. It's going to be the hugest thing ever, you know? And then they just waste that money. You wouldn't just keep giving that person that money just because they were just like, I just had this dream. And you're just like, I know that one day, one of one day they'll actually follow through with one of these dreams that they have and make something of themselves. Well, they can do that themselves. You know, you shouldn't have to be brought down to unleash the wild within. Yeah, this person, they're just wild. Like I said, right? It's just in their nature. <laughs> Somebody spirit guards aren't playing. Somebody's like, if she wants to be for the streets, let her be for the streets, right? If she wants to be out there doing whatever she wants to and she's just like, I can't be, then why are you in a relationship? Why are you getting married? Why are you doing that? You know, you're the one that's tying yourself down. If you don't want commitment, then why did you commit? And don't say that you, you know, and be like, well, this person was basically be like, well, I committed because they were stable because they'd give me the money that I needed. This person's a user. They're like, I could get what I need out of you. That's why I committed to you. But I really don't believe in commitment. I really don't want to be here. This person's energy is very much so, oh, that's so dirty where I set it down outside. Ugh. Just the bottom of it. Um. yeah where this person is just like <laughs> there's something about that it's like you felt like this person was going to be refreshing and then like like this person's dirty or something there's something there's something there okay um look I don't think that you're inherently dirty like you're if, that this person is an adult and they want to be loose with their sexual energy that's their personal business I'm not going to bring shame on anybody for doing that because um yeah, I'm just not going to, right? Like, um, it's not about the number or anything like that. It's just about the quality of people and how, why you're doing it, right? It's one thing to be like, I'm just living my best life and I genuinely, this is how I want to be. Like, okay, but don't tell somebody that you want to be committed to them when you're really, you know, just using them for their money or using them for the stability, right? You know how they'll say, oh, people want their excitement. They want their cake and they want to eat it too. They want to be able to come home to that, loving good st stable place where they're supported and their bills are being paid but then they also want to be able to go out and have the wild fun nights but they don't want to put in the work to find a person that they can get both of those with 
right? They're just like, no, I want to be able to have, or, you know, it's like how people have that trope where they're like men, I don't necessarily believe that I think men and women do this, but to, traditionally it's people saying men do this, right? That they want that nice, good, going to church person they can take home to their mom, they can take home to their family and they can walk around on the streets with or walk around outside and feel proud of and have on their arm. But they also want to have the dirty, nasty freak on the side that does all of the freak stuff at night, you know, and that doesn't have to be shown. And, you know, they want the person that does, that fulfills all their fantasies on the side, but then they love the stability of going home and have somebody that's cooking and cleaning and taking care of their children and doing all of the good money motherly things that the supposed like freak girl won't do right and it's that's kind of this energy that this that this feminine energy has where they're like I want a person that's going to be taking care of me that's there for me when I go out and I get too drunk and I'm like throwing up in the bathroom I can call this person and they show up if I go and get thrown in jail they'll bail me out they'll give me money they'll take care of me you know I can go home to them but then when I don't feel like being around them, I can just go do whatever I want to and get all my other satisfaction from other people. And a spirit is just like, it's one thing to be in a relationship openly with somebody who's cool with that, but it's another thing to be doing it and very much so lying about it or sneaking around about it or being in a relationship with somebody you know does not want that, but yet you do it anyway. And just because they let you do it or you, you know, this person feels codependent enough on you to feel like okay well I just let them do what they want because or whatever you know it's kind of this really weird dynamic that the two of these people had and it was just like no spirit somebody's spirit guys the person that was at home being the person that was taking care of the stable person was just being so taken advantage of and the other person was just doing whatever they wanted to and it's like if you want to go do whatever you want to go do whatever you want to and take care of yourself well, this person was just as codependent on that stabil on that stable person. You should be able to go do that and then be stable for yourself. This person couldn't. And that's exactly why they latched onto this very stable person that could do whatever that was there for them. And then, But then as soon as that stable person wasn't stable or they had karmic energy, right? Or they had, excuse me, ma'am, get down. Or they had some issues happen in their life or something like that and they couldn't be as stable or they couldn't be as supportive as this person has always been and this person couldn't be as codependent on them they didn't want them anymore so yeah it's really funny that this ended here right breaking ancestral patterns right um Whoever the stable person is really could have had a really big, uh, a really big, they could have been passed down. They could have been taught. That's just what you do. You know, that's just what you let a man do, or that's just what you let your wife, or that's what you just let your significant other is just allowed to do whatever. You're the stable person. You're the one at home, always holding everybody up or people in their life, their whole life, their family, they could have been the rock of their family that they let whoever go out and do whatever. And they just kind of really grew up subconsciously thinking, this is just what you put up with. This is just what you do. Right. No, man, you just went outside. Excuse me. Let me finish this and I'll let you out. <laughs> Speaking of codependency, my babies are just like, we love. I would just love to right before I started filming again. Okay. It's time for me to go. Yeah, that's just the energy that I'm getting off of this right here, you guys. Love yourself, right? Like I said in the, in the not in the very beginning, but the whole like point of this was Love, you know, learn the importance of prioritizing yourself, learning the importance of understanding. Yeah, it's important to be, you know, to be stable and be supportive for the people that, you know, for the people in your life. But it's important that those people are giving you the same energy back. Right. Because there's a big difference in between give without expectation, but don't keep giving when when people just take and take and take and don't give anything back to you. Right. Learn the subtle differences between those two things and learn the balance between give without expecting back, but see that if other people don't reciprocate that energy, then those people are just using you and you need to cut those people out of your life. All right, everyone, I hope that this gave you some peace, some love and some clarity in your life that you've really been looking for. Okay. Um, sorry, 11, 11 down on the clock. Sorry that I kind of was like rushing at the end of that or that, you know, like the sudden change over in scenery and everything. Like I said, the, it started raining and I had to rush inside. I really do like doing, um, 
doing the the energy readings outside I love doing them outside I want to start setting up where I can do some more stuff outside and be a little more comfortable maybe perhaps in a little bit more covered place um so we're gonna see what we can do about that all right I really hope that this message is finding you blessed and abundant I really hope this helped get, bring you some clarity okay if you're not uh subscribed to the channel um <laughs> think about subscribing and sticking around for us especially if this if this message resonated if it did resonate uh let me know in the comment section down below okay um I might not respond to all of you guys comments but I do read them you know and I really appreciate all the love and light support that you guys share in the comments and the help that you try to give other people as well that's really beautiful thank you so much I'm glad that you're here if you are a returning, a returning subscriber excuse me hello lovely thank you for being here for another for another video I really appreciate you guys and I will catch you guys in the next one okay bye